Hi guys, today I am doing the book courtship tag, which I have gotten off of a book utopia's uh, book tube channel, where she tagged any booktuber who wants to do it. So clearly, I love it, so I had to do it. Um, this tag talks about the stages of book love, something I know quite a bit about, actually. So phase one is initial attraction. A book that you bought because of the cover, and that would be Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Actually, I turned into a book creeper because of this cover. One of my associates, not quite a friend at that point, was reading this book and I swiped it while she was at dinner to find out what it was about and then had to go buy it for myself. It is just so pretty. I love the illustration, the medieval town on the cover, the dragon. The gold lettering, I love the maroon color, it is, just, it is such a gorgeous book. So, yes. Phase 2. First impressions. A book that you bought because of the summary. And that would be Once Upon, St Once Upon Stilettos by Shanna Swenson. It is actually the second book in the Enchanted Ink series, but I didn't know that at the time. I found it at the library and book 2 was there, not book 1. I just, I don't know, the description on the back of the second book, I just, I don't know, the cover caught me, but then the description on the back is what really made me check the book out. Talking about Katie's life as not being a magical, not being a wizard in a magical world, and she works with Merlin, and the incredibly hunky wizard in her life, and the magic red shoes. I mean, how could you not want to read this book? And this one's probably one of my favorite in the series also, but I love the entire Janet Inc. series, but this is the one that caught my attention first. <laughs> okay, phase three, Sweet Talk, a book with great writing. And that's The Princess Bride by William Goldman. It's my favorite book ever, but I seriously love every single line in this book. Like, the, there are some really well-written books, but there are parts of it where I'm like, this is going on too long, there's too much description, or there's not enough description, or that doesn't sound natural, but every line in this book is just, it's amazing. I love the fact that it's so witty, it's comical, the way that it can blend different styles um, of writing, and it's so satirical, and it just is amazing. This is the best book in the world, so of course I had to make it on this tag list somehow. It could probably fit any of these tags, actually. But, yeah. It is amazingly well written. Seriously, go read this book if you haven't already. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Phase 4, The First Date. A first book of a series that made you want to pick up the rest of the series. And for me, that is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It is the first book in the Lunar Chronicle um, series. I found out the library and just had to read it. And it was just so awesome that I didn't even know there were other books because it was just this lone book sitting there at our library. Um, but there are also the rest of the trilogy and I even went out and bought Ferris because I couldn't wait to read it. So just, oh my god, that's the way it was. It was just so intriguing, and I love the way that the science fiction and fantasy elements are blended with the fairy tale elements. It was just a completely amazing retelling, and the rest of the series is just as good. And yeah, so Cinder and Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Definitely. Phase 5 is Late Night Phone Calls, a book that kept you up all night. Um. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. J. Bleh. Why do I say her name wrong? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. I got it at the midnight release. Like, had to do it for this book. It was the last Harry Potter book coming out and I had to have it as soon as it came out. And just, I did not sleep that night. I think I slept two hours in the entire time that I read this book. And I couldn't put it down. I, like... I showered, but like the quickest shower I've ever had in my life, and ate my meals while reading the book. I think I even cooked while made, reading the book. Like, I could not put this book down, couldn't sleep, couldn't eat anything. Like, yeah. But I did finish it in 24 hours, and I am super proud of that fact. <laughs> so, yeah. This definitely is it. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows.
Basics, a book that is always on your mind. A book you cannot stop thinking about. Um, the entire Harry Potter series. All seven books, plus the three companion works. Um, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, because Sirius is his godfather. <laughs> okay, but no, it is such a vivid world, and it's so well-rounded, and there's just so much going on, and all the characters, and I read it when I was in high school. Like, I read it as the series was coming out, so I spent a lot of time speculating what was going to happen, and I just loved the way that the magic works in it. And it was just such a big thing when they were coming out and the movies were coming out. And just bonding with other fans over the internet, and that was still an emerging thing at the time. So yes, I still can't stop thinking about Harry Potter. And just, <laughs> I'm in denial that the books are done there. This world still continues on, and I love it. I love Harry, Hermione, Ron, Dumbledore, Snape, McGonagall, just all of them. Even love the villains, except Umbridge, that bitch was crazy. But you know, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Harry Potter. Cause Doctor Who is not a cons is not a book series first. Okay. Phase number seven, getting physical. I don't know why I did it like that. <laughs> a book that you love the way it feels. And it's gotta be Doctor Who The Vault by Marcus Hearn, which is a ginormous book, and I'm not going to lie, it's heavy, but that is part of its charm. So this book is squishy, and it's got like this rubberized feel to it, and there's indented like printing, and it's shiny, silvery thing, but then you open the book, and all the pages are shiny and smooth, and it's not weird that I'm stroking the doctor at all, is it? Um, I just love everything. I love what it smells. I love this book. <laughs> it's just so interesting. And I love the fact that it's one of the books that you kind of like open as this ginormous tomb and kind of peruse or like sit cross legged and ladle it in my lap and just I love everything. This book. This book is awesome. <laughs> everything about this book is awesome. So, but definitely the way it feels. Like it wants to be held and touched and opened and red. So, yes. I like the ginormous size and weight, okay? That just adds to its charm. That tells me it is serious. <laughs> Phase 8, Meeting the Parents. A book which you would recommend to your family and friends. Well, any book on this list, obviously. These are my favorites of my favorites. So, but, um, picking something that I haven't done already, and that would be any book by Ailey Martinez. Um, especially like Helen and Tori's Epic Road Trip, which I don't own. That one's so cool. But they are all... I love the... It's like a comedic science fiction fantasy with quirky takes on established folklore and myths and ongoing tropes and things, and I just love the way they're done. So just the entire series. I mean, not they're not a series, but like all his books are just, they're amazing, and I love it. It reminds me of Douglas Adams or Terry Pratchett. It's that kind of style of writing. I just love it. It's so offbeat and unexpected and kind of like I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, but really, really funny at the same time. It is super entertaining. Um, Helen Troy's epic road trip follows Helen and Troy, who are kind of normal-ish, except for that fact that Helen is a minotaur, but they are kind of trying to live normal lives, and they get roped in by a god of that has taken the form of hamburger, and are sent on a quest because they must complete this quest. It is a destiny that somebody completes this quest, and they were at the wrong spot at the wrong time, and they end up going on this giant Greek type adventure, and it's just, that's the kind of writing he has, and just comedic and funny. I, I, just, I love them. So definitely read anything by Ailey Martinez if you haven't already. And phase nine, thinking about the future. A book or series that you know you will reread many times in the future. And I am a chronic rereader, like, these books get in my head and, like, 
I just, I live there and I think about them occasionally, like I'll be doing something else and it'll remind me of a book I read, and then I need to go reread that book. So any book I've ever read is usually a reread. Um, yes. Definitely rereading, you know, Princess Bride, my favorite book, Harry Potter series, Enchanted Ink, any of those, but also sometimes I get an urge just to be utterly dramatic. And the book I go for that is Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. It is just, it's such a great play. It's my favorite play ever. It is so funny. I love the insults in here. There's a scene where but, um, Benedict and Beatrice finally admit that they love each other. There's a scene with the guard where he keeps screaming, I am an ass. Like, it's just super funny. And sometimes I just reread scenes. And sometimes I do the entire play. And sometimes I act them out on my own. Which is totally not weird at all, I'm sure. Um, don't judge me, internet. Um, so, yes. But basically anything I read is a reread. I must reread everything. But this isn't the favorite play ever. And as much as I love watching it performed, because I do love watching it be performed, sometimes it's fun to just read it yourself and put your own take on it and your own imagination, because that is what plays are meant to be done with. They're meant to be performed and interpreted. So, yes, that is my book courtship tag. Phase 10 is share the love and who do you tag? So I tag anybody who wants to do this tag like I did. So go for it if you want to. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. I love you guys. Peace and read on.